Okay, hands up if you use the record only feature in Ecamm. You can let me know in the comments actually. I reckon there's a lot of people overlook this. Uh, this is fantastic. We recommend all the time to our pro video customers that instead of recording into the memory card in your camera, you can actually hook up in exactly the same way that I'm doing now, a camera into your computer. I open up Ecamm and I don't need to go live to get that recording. I can just do record only. So down here in my destinations, we've come down all the other options. We've made videos on all of those for you. Uh, we haven't done stream keys, but record only we're coming to now. And quite simply, all I need to do is hit record and whatever is on this screen in front of me now is being recorded. So this is a fantastic way to make your course videos. I can do screen shares, recordings. I could even do interviews. And instead of actually broadcasting that interview straight away, maybe I want to do a podcast or something. Well, I can strip the audio out now. I can have individual audio files, but I get to do that recording face to face with my guest. So let's bring guest one on here with me. We could be doing our podcast or video interview. We don't need to be going out broadcasting live. Uh, this just allows me to edit it, to cut it up and uh, create videos this way. So I absolutely love this record only feature, using it almost daily, just recording little things that I need to do, suddenly need to put a new video up, need to add something to a course. I love it. So we finish it in exactly the same way, it takes me straight to my local copy, which is great. Just hit show file there and over I go. What I was going to say, you don't even need to be recording it in this format here. If I I want to change this around I can actually record like this and it will give me a tool file out afterwards so uh, let's just try that let me see I know at the minute you've got black borders down the sides that's not what's going to be in the end recording I'll hit finish and end show file and notice when I bring this one up it is in that format and that shape already. Now that is great if you want to do something for Instagram, Instagram story, Facebook story. You can also change this around. We could do square ones if you wanted to. You can do your extra wide cinematic films there. So yeah, there's some really good options for just recording only in here. And actually in terms of the size as well, look, we can go up to 4K. If your camera's set up and can record in 4K, well, you can do this and you can just do your own recording into here. Do make sure that you're looking at all the time at these sound levels down here. You wanna make sure that your microphone is coming in, that the levels are hitting right, that it wants to be in that yellow most of the time you're talking. It's not hitting into the reds, you're not peeking on it, and you can be ready in here and you can have your show all lined up with scenes ready to go. Um, yeah, fantastic. So definitely have a go at record only. You could record your whole course out this way. One little tip that I would say to you, if you have echo cancellation turned on, I would turn it off for these record only videos. Because of what that echo cancellation is doing, it's trying to cut out any of that background noise as it pops up. Uh, it can give a little bit of distortion to your audio. So if you're doing record only, I would just make sure that echo cancellation is turned off. Okay, so record only. Let me know how you get on with that one.